G'day guys, so what feels like now a couple of lifetimes ago, I had a go at trying to remove the gold foil from circuit boards such as this one using white vinegar and salt video, I'll link up here somewhere. It was a complete disaster, but I'm hoping after doing a bit more research that the addition of some hydrogen peroxide will do the job. Let's find out. So for a few weeks, you can see in here we've got all sorts of things tucked away in the box. Sorry about the noise. So I'll tip them out and we'll just make a bit of a, a selection of what we're going to try this, this little jobby on. Ooh, look at all that. Very nice. Okay, so you can see there's bits out of uh, flat screen TVs, mainly out of flat screen TVs. There's a, a USB, so if we're not focusing, you know what to score. Bits and pieces, pins, arms, legs, God knows what you call them. Everything everywhere and bits off ribbon cables. So we're going to select a few of these bits. Pop them in my trusty old cleaned out, um, not Nescafe, what am I on about? Aldi coffee jar. We'll pour some vinegar in and some peroxide and we'll start the process. Ooh, that's a nice piece, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, right, that can go in first, that one. That one. Righty ho, I've got enough for this experiment, but I uh, just want to show you a few things. I'm going to throw in some of these USB um, kind of connections, etc. as well, just to see if it will remove the uh, the gold plate off there. I'm not so sure about this, but we can only try oh, that gold plate in there. Get it in, get it. So I'll tidy all this mess back into my trusty container, and I may even throw in some pens. Right, let's add the vinegar and the hydrogen peroxide. Now, apparently it's just enough to cover. There we go, there's the vinegar. Right, let's add this. Now this is 3%, the video I saw said use 7. I can't get all of 7% and I don't exactly know how much I'm putting in. So, here we go. I've kind of put equal quantities in, seeing as though it's only 3%. Okay guys, give it a slosh about. I'll put a lid on it. Now they reckon you only put a lid on uh, loosely. Apparently it's better with oxygen hitting it. So we'll come back in a week. It's Sunday today. So we'll come back in uh, seven days time and see how it's going. All right guys, catch you soon. Well guys, in my haste to get this underway, I forgot to add one important ingredient. Some table salt. <laughs> right. Let's get some in. Well, that ain't working, is it? Let's take the lid off. There we go. I think it said about a tablespoon. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> well, she's got some salt. Right. Well, that's lost it out. That'll do us. Ooh, right, stick it on the shelf. All right, we'll leave that there for 10 days. Oh, look at these guys, my MOSFETs are stacking up again. Did a video a while ago, melting a load of them. And a very nice bar out of that. To be honest, guys, I've not actually <laughs> looked at this for over well, nearly a week now. Um, it's Saturday tomorrow and I started this last Sunday, but it's a bit, it's a bit weird. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Let's take it out. This is the, oh, crikey. This is the first time I've looked at this. So all this going on here. So all that. Should I have gloves on? Anyway, let's move that so a Oh my god. Is there actually anything? Let's take it outside, a bit more sunlight on it. So it's a bit cloudy in there guys. Oops. Um should this be happening? Let's give it a bit of a slosh about. Oh, that's bloody hell, I can't see nothing now. Okay guys, it's Sunday, seven days since we put all these foils etc in this jar. Seems to have calmed down from the frothiness. Different layers of colours of blue. A lot of sediment in the bottom, I don't know if it's focusing in very well. Anyway, let's get it filtered out, see what we got. Okay, I think it's safe to say me and gold refining may not be hitting it off. I thought I had some coffee filters, can't find them anywhere. I did find these handy little clips, which I took off uh, old Christmas tree lights a while back. 
um, and I'm using this it's almost like a chamois leather cloth so uh, we'll give it a go guys we'll give it a go okay let's pour it in see what we got eh mm. yay it's coming through oh, it's working right let's pop it in Alright, let a bit of that go down first, it's going to overflow. Oh, just having a quick peep in here guys, this is not looking promising. I don't know guys, am I wasting my time here? I mean, there's still gold on it, it's been in there a week. Look at this. If the camera's focusing in. There are down at the bottom there guys, some bits of gold foil and pins, but I I think they were just the pins I threw in initially. I don't think they've actually separated from any of the uh, the fibre board. There you go guys, another failed attempt in my long history of failed attempts at trying to get gold off electronics safely without harsh chemicals. So what's next? Well, <laughs> I'm going to let these dry out a little bit and then I'm going to put them in a pure Hydrogen peroxide, 3% solution, leave them in for a week and see what we get then. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate your patience, comment, subscribe, all that jazz and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.